back home. It's been almost a week since I got home from Toronto. But yeah, it's fine. We're gonna do the yarn haul now. So let me just show you guys. This is my bag of yarn here. It is filled to the top. I got quite a bit of yarn at the store. And the store that I went to was, I think it's called Yarns Untangled. It is located in Kensington Market, Toronto. Anyways, I'm just going to, I'm gonna dump all my yarn out for you guys. I'm just gonna grab all of this yarn and show you guys. Oh my gosh. This is all the yarn. So this is all the yarn. I love each one of these colors. They're so pretty. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this purchase. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by showing you guys the yarn that I got full price. So this is all the yarn that I got for its original price. And honestly, so worth every penny that I spent on this. These yarns are so beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into it and start showing you guys. I'm gonna start with, I think, honestly, my favorite yarn. I don't know. I kind of all like them equally, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys this one. This one was the first one that I picked out. And I was just so drawn to the color scheme of this yarn. This is a hand-dyed fingering weight yarn. And it is so beautiful. I was instantly drawn to it. I just love the colors. I love the colors green and pink together for some reason. I don't know. They just... The colors together just feel so perfect for summer and it is currently summer so I'm probably gonna make a summer project with this but I don't know it is merino wool so it might be a little warm for summer but I'm not gonna let that stop me this was priced at $32 and um, yeah honestly really worth it though so okay so for my next item was this beautiful yarn right here and this yarn would be so perfect for summertime since it is a linen blend so i think it literally says what does it say summer solstice on here yeah i really love this color i was mostly drawn to this color and also the texture of this yarn since i don't know if you can see that well on camera but it's got a very unique texture and these little bits of other colors mixed into this yarn it's very subtle but it's just the perfect amount it's a really beautiful yarn I think this yarn was priced at $27 I'll definitely be making a summer top with this for sure and now for another one of my favorites this hemp yarn right here I really love the color I'm just really liking green right now and I love these shades of green but this yarn I was drawn to because of its lace weight. I've been really into crocheting lace tops lately um, so I was drawn to this yarn because I thought it would be perfect for that and I think it'll be really good for summer since it doesn't feel warm at all and yeah it was $10. Very very worth it. Um, I think this will be an amazing fiber to work with. I'm super excited to use it. And now I have this yarn right here. And this one, I really like. I love the color and I feel like this color would look really nice on me. I tend to gravitate towards very bright colors um, just because I love colorful things. But um, I forget that a lot of those colors don't always look good on me. Um, but I do really like the look of these type of colors on myself. So that is why I got this one. I feel like it would look, it would make for a really cute top. And I also really liked, it is so thin. So I have this yarn right here that I think is fingering weight yarn. And this is even thinner. Like this is a lot thinner. It looks like it might be lace weight yarn, which I think is really cool for this type of fiber since I think this is merino uh yeah this is merino yarn and it is it looks like it's lace weight so I think this would look really cute for a type of top I might crochet something with this or I might knit we'll find out but 
um, yeah, I thought this was a really cool yarn. I love the color and I love the feel of it. So yeah, really excited about this one. So now I'm gonna show you guys the last one of my yarns that I paid full price for. So this is it. So I love the color of this one and I love the texture. And again, these little bits of other colors mixed into it very subtly, but just like the perfect amount. It just looks so beautiful. I think I'll probably be using this yarn for a fall project or even winter project because it does feel pretty warm. I think this is a, yeah, this is a wool blend and it's a little thicker than some of my other yarns that I got here. But yeah, I really like it and I think this would be really cute for a sweater. But um, yes, yeah, so I probably won't be using this for a while since we are just starting summer right now. But um, yeah, so that is all for the yarn that I paid full price for. So now I'm gonna get into my sale yarn. Um, so let me just grab all these and show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys all the, all the yarn that I got on sale now. So this is the yarn. So this is all the yarn that I got on sale. Okay, I feel like each one of these skeins or balls of yarn that I got on sale was a really good deal. Some of this yarn I got for just two dollars. It's kind of it's kind of wild to be honest but um yeah so I'm so excited about it. Anyways I'm gonna start by showing you guys my favorite uh skein of yarn that I got so and that would be this yarn right here. The reason I like it so much is I love the red that we got going on here at the end and that red paired with this really beautiful gray blue color and these pops of other colors throughout the yarn as well i think we can see a little bit more of that here yeah i really love this yarn um i think this is a fingering weight yarn as well as a merino yarn um yeah i really like it very soft and i don't really know what i'm gonna make with it yet but i'm i'm excited to start using it at some point so Yes. Um, oh, and the price of this one, I think I got it. I think I got it for five dollars. Yeah, I don't think I paid more than five dollars for any of this sale yarn. So I believe it was five dollars for this whole skein of yarn. So, okay. And then the next one I'm going to show you guys is this beautiful brown yarn that I found. I just really love this shade of brown. I don't know why, but I tend to have a really hard time finding brown yarns that I really like and when I saw this one I just I just had to get it I also love the texture of it and I think I got this one for five dollars as well yeah and this is a cotton silk blend interesting makes sense because it does feel very soft so this actually might be really good for a summer top so maybe I'll end up using it soon we will see um, okay the next yarn I'm going to show you is not super exciting I got this yarn because I think it was just $5 and it's a lot of yarn for $5 and I mean it is a pretty simple color. It is a ready to dye collection um, so I'm pretty sure this is yarn that you would use to dye uh, yourself but um, it is a really nice yarn, a I think fingering weight yarn and the price point was really good and I actually do really like this color. I'm not going to be dyeing it or anything myself. don't actually know how to do that. I like this color for for summer, so I might actually end up using this soon as well, but also this is a merino yarn, so yeah, it feels very nice. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys this yarn right here, and this yarn, honestly, it's not something that I would naturally gravitate towards. I mostly got it because it was on sale. I think I got this one for... And two or five dollars um, it is really soft which is really nice I think it is a it's an alpaca acrylic blend which makes sense it is really soft I'll show you guys again you can see the little fuzzies on the yarn and it doesn't feel itchy or anything which is nice but it's a little bit of a thicker yarn I'll probably end up using this yarn for a project in the winter time since it does feel very warm but yeah, I do really like this yarn. I like the color as well, so I'm excited to use this. And now I'm gonna show you guys the last item that I got, and it is this 
ball of yarn right here. This yarn, honestly, I mean, I like it. I probably could have gone without it, but it was, I think this one was $2. It was very affordable, and I think that's the main reason why I got it. Um, I also do really like the color, but um, yeah, if it wasn't on sale, I probably wouldn't have gotten it just because I do have a lot of yarn like this already, but not this shade of green, so that is why I got it. It is a pure cotton yarn, so this could be good for the summer. I probably won't use it right away since I'm not as excited for it as my other yarn since I'm pretty used to buying yarns like this. Um, but yeah, it is really nice. So, I mean, for $2, it was definitely worth it. So, yeah, I think that is, so that's everything for this yarn haul today. Yeah, I'm really happy with all the yarn that I got. So it comes to 10 skeins of yarn and I think it came to about $130. Honestly, I feel like that's not a lot for really good quality yarn, but the reason it was so low is because um, of the sale yarn, of course, because a lot of the yarn in that store was hand dyed and have really high quality. So the price point ranged from about 10 to $30 for a skein of yarn. But because of the sale, I got a lot of bang for my bucks. So yeah, I'm really excited about all this yarn. I'm excited to start using it very soon. I'm gonna start thinking up some projects that I can use this yarn for and yeah. But yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here, but I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye. Thank you.